video I want to show you how to use the cash book. So to make things easy, we're just going to use the default chart of accounts and the single cash book that's set up by default. So we're going to start off assuming that we've got a thousand a balance of a thousand in our bank account. So we're going to go to the entry screen make a opening entry 1st of October so it's an opening debit balance and we're going to credit the paid in capital account so this will set up our general ledger so that it matches our opening bank balance. Now if we go to the cash book screen, the account balance that's showing there is debit 1000. So it's important to understand that a cash book is not a ledger account. It's linked to a ledger account. So what we see on the cash book screen is the account balance, which is the balance of the linked ledger account. At the moment, there's nothing in the cash box, so the cash book balance is showing a zero. And what we've got to do is make an opening entry in the cash book so that it agrees with the ledger account. So we click on the new button, and the date will be the 1st of October. It's the opening balance is 1000 and it's a debit balance and we don't select anything under ledger account and we set the on statement flag and this will set the statement balance, which is the reconciled balance, to match as well. I'll click on the Save button. Now we're going to make another entry into the cash book. We're going to make a withdrawal for our rent on the 9th of October. And we'll make that 400. So that's a credit or a withdrawal. And this time we're going to choose a ledger account, which will be the rent expense account. And then we click on the Save button. And we'll notice that the cash book balance is now 600. And the account balance is also 600. And that's because Ledger Lite has automatically created a general ledger entry to adjust the general ledger account balance. So to get the statement balance to show the same as the cash book balance, we just have to set the on statement flag on that last entry. So we can do that just by double clicking on it. And then all our balances will be in agreement. So what we're going to do now is we're going to import a CSV file into our cash book. To do this we click on the import button and then we go and select and we've got a simple one here bank.csv and this will bring up the import file dialog and we have to tell it now the 
the format of this file. So it's a CSV file and the first line consists of field headings. So we need to put a tick next to skip first line. Now the date is in the first field position, so we put in a 1, and this will show that it's picking up the date correctly from the first line of that file, or at least the first line that contains data. Uh, the amount, that's the last two fields in that record. Positions, actually positions three and four. And the description is in position two. And this is showing the values from the first record to make sure that uh, it is picking it up correctly. And once we're happy that it's, it's getting the right things from the right place, we just click on the OK button. And that will pull the information into our cache book. So once we've imported that CSV file, it's simply a matter of going to each new entry in the cache book and setting the appropriate ledger account. So for electricity, it will be the electricity account, rent will be the rent expense, and interest is interest income this time, income. On save and we're done.